Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Pratyusha's Knowledge Hub. I am your Dr. Pratyusha. In today's video, we are going to see what are the different patterns of NPTEL assignments based on the selected courses and how you are going to analyze the course based on the 08th assignment. So, for some courses, you might have a 08th assignment. So, based on that assignment, you can have an idea how you are going to write your assignments regarding that particular course in the future. So, let's start the session. So coming to this slide, these are some of the important links to get into the course. Here you can see these are some of the general queries. So every student is having these queries while writing the assignments. So let us see these queries one by one uh, after, after seeing the types of assignments. Okay, I'll be discussing these queries in the last one second. How can you find the assignment? Here this is the course which you have enrolled. Just uh, imagine this is the course which you have enrolled. And as you can see at the side of this course, you are having week one. So in the week one, you are having some lecture materials and along with that one, some quiz, you are having the quiz. So when you click on this quiz, uh, you will be getting some questionnaire regarding this uh, week one courses. So what are the different types of assignments? Here we are having different types of assignments based on the courses. So as you can see, this is a, this is a quiz type or weekly assignment. In the quiz type weekly assignment, we are having three types. Like you can have either multiple choice questions or multiple select questions or numerical questions, alphanumeric short answers. Another type is a subject to, uh, subject to is nothing but essay type questions. Next, you can, you need to scan and upload uh, the copies for uh, some of the subjects. And next one is the programming assignments which are related to C, C++, Java. These are some of the uh, assignment types. So let us see one by one uh, in detail how you are going to write, how you need to write the assignments. Okay. So coming to the first one, it is about the multiple choice questions and multiple select questions. So what is the difference between these two? Let us see. So here you can see some of the questions. Okay. So coming to here. Uh, as you can see for the questions, the choices are in different types. For this, as yes, you can see, they are uh, like a bubble choices. And as you can see here for the second question, third question, they are like check boxes. So which means that for the bubble one, there is only one answer in these choices. Okay. So you need to select only one answer. When coming to the, when coming to the check box, you can select uh, either one option or two options or three options. So there were, there were multiple options uh, in the check box. So we can't say either it can be a one answer or it can be a two answers or it can be a three answers. So coming to the bubble, only one answer we can have. Okay, this is the difference between the multiple choice question. So multiple choice. First one is a multiple choice question. Only one answer you can assign. And uh, coming to the next is uh, the extra questions are the multiple select questions. So in these multiple select questions, you may have either one option as the answer or two options as the answer or three options as the answer or four options as the answers okay so at the right side you can see the answers uh, so for the first one if your answer is correct you will be getting the uh, you will be getting the answer like this yes your answer is correct accepted answer is what and coming to the second one as we discussed before there might be a multiple answers or single answer in this in the uh, check boxes so coming to the second one, there is a single answer for this question. If you have marked another answer means it will be assigned as zero. Okay. So coming to the next one, in the third question, as you can see, they have marked uh, multiple answers. So actual answer is a Bangalore and they have also marked the Mumbai. So what they, they have given the answer as zero. Okay. I mean score as zero. So coming to the fourth one, as you can see, here you are having like uh, uh, the answers are which of the following are the cities in Tamil Nadu? One is related to Chennai, another one is related to Coimbatore. But I have selected only Chennai. So they will be giving the only the partial marks. And if you have selected Chennai, Coimbatore, another answer means like Jaipur. Jaipur is a wrong answer. So they will be giving the zero marks for this entire question. Okay. So coming to the next type is about the numerals and short answer assignments. So coming to here, as you can see, they have given some questions which are related to the answers will be in the numerals, that is in the number format, or the answers can be in the alphabet format. So as you can see, these are the questions on the left side, we have written some of the questions and answers, and uh, after evaluating, your answers are like this. So as you can see, the, for the first one, what is the value of pi? It is 3.141, which is a right answer, so they have given the score as 1. So coming to the next. What is the value of sine pi by 2? 
so where i have given 0.5 but the answer is accepted answer is 1 so what is this answer is wrong okay so coming to the next why this answer is wrong though the answer is india why it is wrong means it is related to this string that is uh, here in the answer i have kept this uh, full stop so what they have given the answer as wrong so here if you remove the full stop means uh, then you will be uh, getting the answer correct and then for the last one the answer is asia so it is a correct answer so you have got the score as 1 okay so these are different numerals and short answer assignments that is your assignment can be in the either in the numeral format or they can be in the word format that is nothing but alphabet format okay so this is another type of assignment you can see some assignment questions on the screen with different patterns so let's see one by one so coming to the first one is uh, about the check boxes as you can see on the options they have given some check boxes so which means that whatever the question they have given they might be one answer or they might be two answers or they might be three answers for example if you, if this question contains three answers so here i will be selecting three check boxes so when they are evaluating uh, if only two answers are correct and one is wrong so they will be giving a mark for these two uh, corrected answers and uh, for the one which is which has been wrong so they will be cutting the mark okay so coming to the second one is related to the uh, like you can see like a fill in the blank so in the fill in the blank you are having the option like uh, they will be giving uh, option like uh, either you can write the answer in the numeral format or in the alphabet format that is which is nothing better in the format of word so coming to the next one here in the third one as you can see the format is in the form of bubbles so which means that only one option will be in the uh, question they have given so among these options only one will be the correct answer you must correct uh, you must select the correct answer okay so these are the different patterns of, of the assignments so one is related to the check box another one is related to the blank and the last one is related to the bubble so in the bubble you will be having only one answer and coming to the check box you might have either two answers or three answers you might have in this check box okay so coming to the next here you can see some due date so due date represents that uh before the uh, either on that particular date or before the uh, completion of this date you should submit your assignment okay so which is simply we can say like uh, we say, we can say like that um uh, we can say like um uh, by this date you should submit your assignment okay so similarly uh, these two so coming to the assignment solutions after completion of that assignment in that particular week they will be providing the assignment solutions so you can prepare these assignment solutions when you are going to the end exam these assignment solutions will be somewhat helpful when, uh, while we are writing the end exam okay so coming to the next one is a subject to assignment so coming to here uh, essay type questions so essay type questions means for which courses you will be having these type of assignments means uh, for the english related courses as you all know for the english we are have, we want to write some essays so for those courses they will be giving the assignments like this so as a example they have given like a one of the question like write about your life experience so they have given the condition as not more than 250 words so this is the answer related to the question so i have written some of the uh, answer related to this question and here you can see the submit option so after writing the answer you can submit to you can submit so they will be evaluating this these type of assignments like uh, they will be taking one or two days and they will be giving you the um, uh, result okay so coming to the next one here as you can see uh, for some uh, subject to type assignments we need to scan and upload the copy uh, for example uh, i uh, there is a uh, some long uh, description i want to write for the assignment so i will be taking the paper and i will be writing the uh, some description and uh, after writing the description i will scan that copy and uh, here you can see add file so when you click on this option you will be getting this window box so in this window box i have selected my file as you can see on the right side uh, some pdf file has been uploaded and uh, here i have clicked like upload so after clicking the upload or open button you you can see your file here so this you can you need to upload and this may this also may take uh, like 2 uh, to 3 days to evaluate and give you the result okay so this is another type of so coming to the next one is a programming assignment here you need to write the assignment in the programming format since we are saying a programming here the supporting languages are c c++ python java verilog so these are some of the supporting languages where you can write the assignment in the form of programs 
so as you can see we have we are discussing about the some due date so for each and every assignment as you can see here you are, you can check the due date for every assignment so if you if you check here means the due date for this particular assignment is 18 some 2018 so like this you can check uh, the due date for every assignment in this format okay so let's see the how we are going to write the program uh, in this uh, program and submit the assignment okay so coming to the programming assignment here you need to write a program in python language so the question for this one is you need to take a two numbers as a input and print the addition okay so here as a input i have taken two numbers like 4 and 2 and the output i am i need to get is a 6 okay so for writing the program here i need to select the uh, language since we need to write the program in the python language so here i am selecting the python language okay so after selecting the python language you will be getting the window like this so in this window you will be writing the program so after writing the program here you need to compile and run so as you can see here you are having the compile and run so you need to compile and run so when you are compiling and running you will be getting the test results so for whatever the program you have written you will be getting some test results if you are, if you are okay with those results then you need to submit so then you need to have a submit so after submitting you will be getting the window like this so you have submitted and it is passed so for this type of uh, uh, questions uh, it may take like programming it may take one day for evaluation and they will be returning you the results okay so coming to the progress how you will be getting the progress for each and every week uh, so coming to the tab here you are having the tab you can see this tab in your uh, course Uh, and uh, there you can find the progress so when you click on this progress you will be getting your evaluation for each uh, week so for week 1 i got some 90 for 90 evaluation and for week 2 i got some 90 marks like that for every week you will be getting the evaluation marks as you can see in the assignment 3 i have not returned assignment i forgot to write the assignment so i have uh, they have not considered the marks okay so if this this is a eight weeks course then they will be considering uh, out of eight they will be considering six weeks so uh, they will be taking the best of six assignments okay so coming to the discussion form as you can see here you can directly interact with the course instructor or with the other students in order to solve your uh, problem that is um, any subject related problems okay so coming to the next this discussion form is related to the mentors so here the mentor can raise your doubts uh, regarding the course or certificates or subject point of view you can post your questions here so coming to the next here you are having the live sections you can directly uh, interact with the instructor and uh, clear your doubts so coming to the number of feedbacks as you can see here uh, we are having a uh, three types of courses like four weeks course eight weeks course and 12 weeks course for the four weeks course you need to give one feedback for the eight week course you need to give two feedback and for 12 weeks course you need to give three feedback this is a very mandatory one you need to give a feedback regarding the uh, assignments or regarding the course or regarding the videos or regarding the material you uh, you can give any of the feedback okay so coming to the faqs uh, so we are having some of the faqs we need to solve uh, uh, for these uh, assignments so let's see what are those so coming to these are some of the general questions uh, where most of the students will be getting a doubt uh, so let's discuss uh, one by one in detail uh, so coming to here when will the when will the assignment release so on every monday the assignment will be released you need to submit that assignment on next week before wednesday midnight 11:59 pm okay so by which time should i submit the assignment so as i said before before 11:59 pm on every wednesday okay so coming to the uh, as a example i can see like i can say like uh, if you are uh, assignment was released on first week of monday you need to submit that assignment on second week of wednesday before 11:59 pm so i think so this one is clear for you now so uh, coming to the next is uh, can i modify the answers once i submit it once i have submitted so yes you can modify the answers multiple times you can modify after you after you have submitted so the last submitted answer only will be considered for the evaluation that is uh, before uh, wednesday uh, i mean uh, on wednesday before 11:59 pm uh, you can sub you can submit your um, uh, assignments multiple times okay 
So how many times can I resubmit the assignment? As I said before, multiple times you can resubmit your assignment. Okay. So what happens if I have not submitted the complete assignment? So if you have marked uh, some questions in the assignment but you have not submitted, then after 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, after due date, those marked answers will be submitted automatically and get evaluated. Okay. So coming to the next, what happens, uh, I have already discussed this one. So when I can see my assignment score. So you can check your assignment score after 12 a.m. That is, uh, uh, if you have submitted the assignment on Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. On the next uh, one minute, you can check your score. Since it, since it is an automatic evaluation, you will be getting the score immediately. But for some courses like essay or programming, like those type of courses, uh, um, you may get the score after one or two days based on the course it may vary. Okay. So how can I plan to write the assignments? So this I can say like uh, spend every day 30 minutes to one hour on the course. Uh, complete one or two videos uh, related to that particular course then go to the assignment check if any content related to those uh, videos or material is there in your assignment questions uh, if you found uh, any of the questions like uh, if you found like a uh, three to four questions related to that video particular video or uh, material which you have prepared so then um, uh, then go to those questions and mark those questions and click a submit button so till those your uh, your uh, assignment will be submitted so again coming to the next day again um, uh, you go to the another video uh, and do the same as the as we discussed before so by doing like this you may feel assignment uh, assignment as easy and you will be getting the good knowledge and you will be get the getting this good score in the assignments so this is one of the suggestion i can give for you in order to write the assignments and get the good score so where can i see the due date of the assignments so for every assignment you will be having a due date you can find the due date at the top right corner in your assignments okay so uh, will they ask to submit multiple assignments on the same day as there might be a chance uh, for the 12 weeks course there might be a chance to um, uh, of asking to submit the two assignments on the same day uh, so uh, it is a good habit to check your assignment due date after the week courses are released so these are some of the questions most of the students will be getting the queries okay hope so i have uh, solved uh, uh, i have cleared your doubts regarding the questions okay so another question is what do i have to do to get a certificate so uh, in order to get the certificate as we discussed before you need to write the assignment exam and a final exam so the assignment exam should be uh, greater than or equal to 10 for 25 and, and, the, and the final exam should be greater than or equal to 30 for 75. So you need to get the 10 plus 30 that is a 40 marks in your uh, entire assignment and uh, exam score. So then only you will, be, uh, you will be eligible to get the certificate. Okay. So coming to here, uh, so based on the criteria like uh, either it can be a 4 weeks, 8 weeks or 12 weeks course. If it is a 4 weeks course, uh, the best of 3 they will be considered. If it is a six, uh, 8 weeks course, the best of 6 they will be considered. If it is a 12 weeks course, the best of 8 they will be considering. Okay. Uh, so compulsory you need to uh, get the uh, uh, assignment and uh, uh, end score. So that is assignment score should be greater than 10 and the end score should be greater than 30. Then only they will be issuing the certificate for you. So coming to the next uh, for the uh, exams like um, uh, like programming exams. So for the programming you will be uh, you will be having some unprotected programming test. So these uh, they will be keeping um, uh, like a program. They will be giving the programming and uh, they will be evaluating that program also. So you can write this program by sitting in your uh, uh, own place, like uh, in your college or in your home, you can write this program. Okay. So if I were uh, to suggest a particular subject or topic for an NPTEL online course, will you take that into consideration? Yes, definitely they will be taking into the consideration. So what you're having the feedback form. So based on that uh, feedback form, if you need any course or any related topics to be included or any uh, new courses to be included, then you can have some suggestion for them like writing in the feedback form uh, or uh, you can suggest by writing some mail uh, they'll be adding that course in the next semester 
so here is another question like how will i come to know about the assignments and deadline so as we discussed before we, uh, why, uh, if you open the assignment in the right most corner of the assignment you will be having some due date and also you will be getting some announcements regarding the deadline of the assignment and also you will be getting the email uh, to your uh, registered mail uh, uh, like uh, when is the deadline uh, to submit the assignment so you need to check the mail or announcements page or you can also check the by using uh, by opening the assignment page right most corner you will be having the due date so how do i find out my score in each assignment so as we discussed before after the deadline has been completed to submit your assignment uh, you will be getting the score automatically uh, and uh, you can check your score by using your password and lo uh, your login details like uh, password and mail id uh, you can check your score after the deadline so will they be uh, self assessment assi yes they will be the self assessment uh, assignment for some of the courses uh, so after you enroll the course uh, you can check on the left side like uh, where you will be getting the weekly information so you can check there uh, about the zero uh, assignment so this zero assignment uh, represents the what the how you are going to write the assignments in the future uh, for that particular course uh, either it can be a mcqs or it can be a uh, like a multiple selected questions um, or it can be a essay type questions so you can analyze firstly how you are going to write the assignments for that particular course and that zero assignment uh, will not be having any marks uh, so you can uh, repeat the assignment multiple times uh, to check your uh, uh, to check your to check your uh, assessment in that particular course okay so how do i find out my score in each assignment so we discussed this one already uh, so as we discussed uh, after completion of your deadline they will be uh, uh, assigning you the score immediately uh, for this you need to log in uh, log in again uh, uh, with your mail id and password and you can check your score immediately after the deadline so coming to the next question is will they be self assessment uh, assignment yes they will be the self assessment assignment so for whatever the course you have registered for that particular course you are having you will be having the zero assignment so in that zero assignment they will be providing the questions related to that particular course so based on that questions you can um, uh, assess yourself so that is a zero assignment is a just a trial assignment so you can submit many times and you can have some assessment and also that zero assignment will not be considered for the uh, end exam result okay and uh, coming to this self assignment they will be not issuing any marks also for this uh, self assignment assessment so coming to this self assessment uh, uh, you can see for every course they will be providing the zero assignment so you can write that zero assignment and you can um, uh, assess that the uh, how the course uh, how the how are the assignments you are going to write for that particular course okay so there is another question like it is difficult to watch all the videos online can i download notes for these videos so for the video lectures yes you can uh, download the notes so you need to visit for this uh, website um, in this website you will be they will be providing some course materials uh, like pdfs or uh, like uh, videos download you can download but uh, there is no guarantee that uh, all the courses might have these uh, type of uh, uh, materials or uh, uh, videos to be downloaded uh, and uh, for some courses they are also having some translations like uh, they can um, use their own language uh, uh, to listen to that videos uh, and to learn for that particular subject so here this is the link uh, given by them uh, so here this is the link uh, where you can find some translation uh, uh, related to some courses okay to their um, uh, language the translation they have done okay what if i have limited internet access how do i watch videos online uh, so if you are having a limited access you can download those videos and you can check after uh, or else uh, you can visit to this website and uh, they will be having some uh, courses not all the courses are posted in this website um, make a note of this uh, if your course whatever the course you have taken uh, if it is post it means uh, uh, it's your luck and uh, you can go through that one and uh, coming to the next uh, here you are having some transcripts like uh, the course can be also in the pdf form or material you can have so you can download that and you can um, uh, you can um, you can download that and you can go through those um, material and uh, write the assignment and you can prepare for the particular course so coming to the next question is how will these online courses fit into my curriculum 
so you need to check with your uh, college curriculum uh, but most of the colleges added uh, nptel courses in their curriculum to give credits so um, uh, so in some colleges uh, there is a rule uh, that um, the student should not repeat the course uh, which is there in their uh, curriculum that is uh, uh, they have to do some advanced course uh, they have to not repeat the course um, uh, already with the same name in the curriculum okay uh, so my suggestion is better to talk with your uh, department head or a department NPTEL coordinators before choosing the course. So it is a better option if you are having a credits means. Okay. So these are some of the important links uh, where you can find the info regarding the NPTEL courses. Uh, you can go and check to, uh, through these links. Okay. Hope this video might be useful for everyone. If you like my video, please give me a like symbol and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates. So keep watching, keep learning. See you in the next video.